Hi, welcome back to the course here and in this lecture we are going to do these small parts and we are going to finish this metal things. So I'm going to start with this piece here. You can see kind of a cylinder going on here. So again we can start with the cylinder and then we can extrude and get the shape. Very basic simple shape. So I'm going to take a cylinder here as the profile and I'm going to show you a new technique to extrude along a curve. So I'm going to decrease the radius. I think I should scale down it because I don't want that height. So let's scale it and rotate it to match the angle there. And I don't want this uh, this much of you no know, subdivision axis number. So I'm going to decrease it to 12 somewhere. And then I'm going to uh, extrude this face as this side cylinder face let me you can see that's inside actually that's at the center so that's inside let's pull that out here and I'm going to extrude all this this side faces this cap faces and get that shape and for that again I can I can do that manually but I have a new way to do that by creating a curve and then extruding the faces along that curve so let's first create the curve by going to the create menu and bring the cv curve tool that's inside the curve tools you'll find a couple of you no know, curve tools and i'm going to use the cv curve tool so here i'm going to create a curve and the way you create the curve is if you left click will get a point here like this and this is called a CV which is uh, which stands for control vertex CV control vertex and then if I add another we'll see another uh, CV and we'll uh, see that you no know, segment there in and if I put the third one you can see it's continuing from that and if I put the fourth one you can see the curve so there are three segments creates one uh, span of the curve here you can see this white line is the actual curve and these are the span so I'm going to going to click here to, for the corner if I do this I'll get a very round shape you can see here uh, it's very round so either I have to put couple of points very close to each other to get that corner you can do this and then let's put some point here I think it's going all the way till here and press enter to actually create the curve you can see so this is the way to create the curve now you can see the curve is selected but it's inside there make sure it's aligned to that cylinder center somewhere here and if I right click and go to control vertex mode now you can see you can assess these points and you can select and move and adjust the curve I think my curve is okay I just need to adjust this point a little bit okay it looks okay and then let's go to object mode so here I have a cylinder and a curve now I need to select all these faces then select the curve and extrude so let me show you that so let's first select all these faces so again you can select by pressing the tab key and just hold the left mouse and drag you can you know paint those faces like this so i have selected all the faces and then hold the shift key and then click on this to select the curve so this selection order is very important you should first select the polygon faces which you want to extrude and then select the curve so once you have selected in this order then go to edit mesh and just click on the extrude normal extrude so because you have selected a curve with the polygon face it's automatically going to use that you no know, technique which is extrude along the curve now you can see a very odd kind of result uh, which is looking like a kind of bug but it's it's actually fine it's because we don't have any segments in between the extrude you just need to uh, come here and increase the divisions 
because it has just one division so it cannot adjust this area of polygon here to the curve so you just need to increase it as soon as you start to increase it it's automatically going to match with the curve just increase it to a level where you get that proper shape you can see i'm not getting the proper uh, shape here so i i can do one thing just select these two edge loops and delete those things and i just need to rotate and properly angle this noise something like this you might scale that a little bit to get that volume back so this is one way and if you press 3 now you can see it's working not bad uh, i just need to put two edge loops two supporting edge loops to hold this corner so again we can use that offset edge loop tool so let's bring the offset edge loop tool and drag on this edge and you can see it's creating two edge loops there and if i press three you can see uh, it's good but i think i need to adjust this adjust this volume a little bit i think this is okay and this should intersect with this part so i'm going to move this you can move this or you can extrude that part so it should intersect with this piece so i should move this a bit inside let me again it's a good habit to you know create good even spacing polygons again this this option will help you to adjust that shape sometimes if it's the border it gives you very odd results so just be aware of that and i think this is looking okay so let's move on and create these things these are very basic shapes just a cube and few um, few edge loops or you can bevel as well so let's take a cube and scale you can also do these things inside zebras you don't have to do all the small details here you can do that it's just your wish so let's scale and let's make it a little bit narrow here uh, let's scale it and get that you know, that angle here and so in this angle maybe a little bit you know intersected and a little bit little bit maybe curved but i'm not sure about that so i'm not going to do that right now so let's increase few edge loops here maybe in this direction maybe these three are fine yeah and now i'm going to you know add some edge loops so let's are as loops here here you can see i don't want that insert with this flow so let's go to that option box and turn that off so again i'm trying to you know hold these corners this basic corner so i'm putting few edge loops there basically three edge loops always it's a good practice to put two edge loops to both sides to hold one corner okay if i press three you can see it's good so go ahead and do this i'm going to do this in between uh, lesson these things so let's create this uh, kind of you no know, bolt or some rabbit kind of thing so for that i'm i'm going to use you can use a spear or a cylinder 
doesn't matter it's a very simple shape so let's take a spear and we can delete some part of the spear and we can keep few parts so let let me delete few parts here so i don't want these areas select just keep this area and you can see the pivot is still here somewhere so let's go to modify and click on the center pivot if you want to bring the pivot to the center and let me rotate it rotate you can rotate 90 degree if you hold j key and then uh, rotate while you are holding the j key it is going to turn on the discrete or snap rotate so you can see it's rotating with a snap value which is 15 degree you can see that from here now it's 60 if i rotate a little bit it's 75 and then it's 90 so it's a very good way to rotate 90 degree or 45 degree it's a very good way to get those clear rotates on degree so let's scale it and you can see we can put those bolts few areas so let me scale it i think i should extrude this part a little bit backward so let's extrude and let's move that backward so whenever you you can see you have rotated and we are not getting that a manipulator matching with this object so it's because the move tool is set to world axis if you change this to object and you have rotation and no value here it's automatically going to show you in that direction so it's very useful when you position an object with rotation you might need to change that to object mode now you can see it's very easy to move in that particular direction or even rotate in that direction so I'm looking at the scale of that. I think it's too big. So let me scale down it. Okay, I think this is fine. So let me duplicate it. For duplicate, you can go to edit and then duplicate from here or you can just press the shortcut which is control D. And now it's duplicated and it's sitting there. You just need to move it out of the way and let's position that here at the bottom it's somewhere here maybe so i'm stopping this lecture here in the next lecture we are going to start with this you no know, wrapping cloth you can see so we are going to see that in the next lecture